HIV was first identified in the United States in 1981 after a number of gay white men started getting sick with a rare type of cancer. It took several years for scientists to develop a test for the virus to understand how HIV was transmitted between humans and to determine what people could do to protect themselves. During the early 1980s, as many as 150,000 people became infected with HIV each year. By the early 1990s, this rate had dropped to about 40,000 each year, where it remains today. AIDS death cases began to fall dramatically in 1996 when new drugs became available. Today, more people than ever before are living with HIV AIDS. The Centers for Disease Control estimates that about 1 million people in the United States are living with HIV or AIDS. About one quarter of these people do not even know that they are infected, and not knowing puts them and others at risk. That is why I encourage routine HIV screening. Started on December the 1st, 1988, World AIDS Day is about raising money, increasing awareness, fighting prejudice, and improving education. World AIDS Day is important in reminding people that HIV has not gone away and that there are many things still to be done. The Joint United Nations Program on HIV AIDS estimates that there are now 33.4 million people living with HIV, including 2.1 million children. During 2008, some 2.7 million people became newly infected with the virus, and an estimated 2 million people died from AIDS. Around half of all people who become infected with HIV do so before they are 25. They are killed by AIDS before they are 35.